Amnesty came out with a, this report um, accusing Israel of uh, imposing apartheid on the Palestinians um, with policies of segregation, dispossession, and exclusion uh, that amount to crimes against humanity. As a general matter, we don't offer public comprehensive evaluations uh, of reports by outside groups. Why is it that all, all criticism of Israel is, from these groups is, is almost always rejected by the U.S. and yet accepted, welcomed, and endorsed when it comes when, when it comes out when the criticism is, is of other countries, notably countries with which you have significant policy differences. Matt, I would make a couple points. Number one, when we include a footnote in something like these are footnotes, Matt. These are when we these are, when we these when are we cite when we cite, cite yes. which. It's a game of semantics, I suppose. So it's just when it's criticism of Israel that you feel free to d disagree? Where, where have you ever disagreed with an amnesty re report or a human rights report on a country such as Iran? This is not, China? Matt, this is, this is not about any outside group. Uh, this is about our vehement disagreement with a certain finding in a report by an outside group. Americans view that human rights resulting from occupation are discrete events rather than resulting from discriminatory policies or discriminatory systems that are backed up by law. Barbara, we uh, document this comprehensively in our own human rights reports. Um, when speaking about Israel, one other point here, uh, we think that it is important as the world's uh, only Jewish state uh, that the Jewish people must not be denied their right to self-determination, and we must ensure uh, there isn't a double standard being applied.